a real photo of an alien? In this video, we will examine whether this photo taken by Billy Meyer in 1975 could be of an alien woman named Askett. In this composition of photos taken by him, on the left side, you may see one of Semyaze's ships, a beam ship, against a tree. On the right side is shown the photo of Askett. Both are alien women from different groups that collaborate together. Billy met Semyaze many years after Askett, however Semyaze never allowed him to also take a photograph of her. Some skeptics claim that the Askett photo is of an Earth woman, a model and entertainer who appeared on the Dean Martin show, taken by Billy Meyer from his TV screen at the time it was transmitted. Others say that this show was not broadcast in Switzerland, and Billy did not own a TV at that time. The Hypothesis of the Photos Taken by Billy on Board an Alien Ship Billy Meyer made a trip with the Playaron in 1975. His alien friend, Semyaze, took him away from the solar system. During this trip, he met Askit and Nera, two alien women, human beings, but aliens, and took some photos of them while he was aboard their ship. Billy has known Askit for many years, since 1953, and took many photographs of her ship and the ships of her people as they flew near an ashram a religious village in India while he was staying there. It is understood that someone forced photographer S to produce the forgeries of photos Billy had taken with the permission of the play Aaron. On several occasions S either completely manipulated the actual pictures he had received from Billy or he replaced them with forgeries. In this manner, Billy frequently received false negatives or forged photos from S, even from the time of his initial contacts with the play Aaron. Photographer S has died in the interim and can, therefore, no longer provide any details about these machinations. The hypothesis of the photos taken by Billy from his TV of the Dean Martin Show. Some skeptics claim that Billy took photos of his television while the Dean Martin Show was being aired. This is the photo presented as evidence of the alleged fraud. This photo was taken in the television studio. It might not be exactly the same as that produced by the television camera that transmitted the show television but it shows several women that look very much like the photos taken by Billy. The Investigation Comparing the photo by Billy with the indicated photo as evidence of the fraud of Billy, they initially appear to be very similar. At first glance, it seems that the skeptics that state this are correct. They match one another somewhat. However, there are a few details that indicate that the photograph from the unreasonable skeptics has been altered, or it contains something that does not match the other photo quite well. In this zoomed image, the features of the photo from the unreasonable skeptics are rough. The woman that may represent Askett seems older than the other models, and the size of her head seems a little big for her body. Could it be a coincidence? or a montage? This is not conclusive, yet. The women from the Dean Martin show were also very skilled dancers and singers. It seems that the American public has nice memories of them. Let us see a public website which still has photos of them, within which we will discover some clues about the Askett photo. 
Arriving at their webpage, we find a very interesting detail at the center of the heart-shaped image. There is a similar photo to the one used as conclusive evidence of fraud. However, the female that resembles Asket is not the same as that whom appears in the photo used by the unreasonable skeptics as evidence of the fraud of Billy. Here we see the enlarged photo. The artist, who would represent Asket in the alleged fraud, looks much younger here. Her face is smaller and now she seems to be the same age as her companions. Although the picture is a little blurry in this zoomed view, it looks much more natural. An interesting detail is that they are almost physically positioned relative to one another by the same measurements as in the photo from the unreasonable skeptics. But the women have different clothing. It is natural that during these shows, they come out one or more times wearing different clothes. Why does this difference in the woman's face exist? Is there perhaps another gold digger that is older than the one who resembles Asket and not this young woman? After looking at other photos on the gold digger's website, we did not find this woman that resembles Asket on the right but instead we found the young woman on the left. These women were using the same blue dress as the one shown in the photo from the unreasonable skeptics, but the mysterious woman is not there. Here are some of the photos found on the website. And this is who seems to be the true gold digger that we saw in the unreasonable skeptics photo. Michelle de la Fave. Compare this photo of Michelle to the photo taken of Asket by Billy Meyer. The women are different. Their hair is different, their age is different, the width of their nose is different, and the chin is thinner in the photo on the left. Let us look at it in more detail. The face on the right has a slight asymmetry. Her right eye is slightly above her left, and the hair parting is not in the center. Let us draw a few lines to check the symmetry. The face on the right is more asymmetrical than the one on the left. Hairstyles can change, but the cranial distribution does not. They do not seem to be the same person. The unreasonable skeptics say that Billy took the picture from his television when the show with these artists was aired. Why does the photo from Billy look different to the photo taken on the Dean Martin show? Let us consider additional information. Before the alleged fraud by Billy Meyer became public in 1998, in which he was accused of taking photos of entertainers on his television, Billy knew about the existence of two women in the United States that resembled Asket and Nero. They were described by Petar, an extraterrestrial human being of a group called the Playaren, in Contact Report 39 of December the 3rd, 1975. In this document, Pitar told him that it was a notable exception to allow him to take pictures of Asket and Nera, and, unfortunately, there were two women in the United States that have a great resemblance to them. Pitar did not provide additional details about these women. Pitar's information became public several years before the announcement of the alleged fraud. Conclusions you can reach your own conclusion. You can conclude that Billy Meyer has actually traveled on extraterrestrial ships and that he has taken photos of at least a couple of space women. Or you can believe that all of this is a deception and that the proposed events are impossible. Looking at the evidence, we conclude the following. 
This picture used by the unreasonable skeptics was manipulated. The woman that resembles Ascot is not any of the women that appeared on the Dean Martin show. Compare the size of the head of the woman with her body. The photo on the left seems to be manipulated so that the woman resembles Ascot. If this is the case, we think that somebody wanted to harm the reputation of Billy Meyer. We do not believe that the mentioned models or artists were involved in this deception. Perhaps the unreasonable skeptics also did not participate in the manipulation of the photo. Although it is not yet clear of the level of alteration to the actual photos taken by Billy, it is common to think that Ascot's face was not changed much, or not at all, since one would think that the photo of the Dean Martin show was manipulated to resemble Ascot, the alien woman. Furthermore, if Billy saw an alteration to the face of Ascot, he would have noticed it immediately. The announcement of the alleged fraud by Billy was made public several years after the time he took the photos of the two alien women. Perhaps someone gave Billy time to make the photos public and become widely known. Batar had already warned Billy about the two women in the United States that looked much like Ascot and Nera in December 1975. He also said that taking these pictures was a great exception. This was documented before the alleged fraud was made public. In this case, as with other situations with Billy and other contacts, the evidence is not fully conclusive, leaving open doors for human beings on Earth to choose any alternative, to believe or not. It is curious to see situations where there is no conclusive evidence. Some skeptics use some visible clues to support their claims of falsehood, and other clues remain for those skeptics who believe that we are not alone on Earth. It is common to see two positions, as in the case of the demonstration made to Billy of a beamship dancing like a pendulum around a tree. Some skeptics immediately see a scale model suspended on a string or wire, and other skeptics see a ship moving around the top of a large tree. Having both points of view perhaps is the way in which little by little we are opening ourselves to another reality without becoming insane during the process. What do you think? We think that it is very likely that this is the true face of Ascot, an alien woman who travels in her ship through space and since 1964 was in contact with Billy Meyer. We are sure this debate will still be open for several more years to come.